Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will learn how to incorporate maps with 3D world data in Unity using the uh, Bing Map SDK. So now I'm doing a test after incorporating the maps. If I change the X to somewhere like 25 and start moving with the Y, you will see that uh, these are the map 3D data. And as well as if I uh, would like to zoom in and zoom out, that also could be uh, achieved uh, using the zoom level value like so i'll leave a link in the descriptions to the resources page where uh, you could find the tutorials and more information about the uh, uh, sdk for unity so to start we need to create an account and sign in in the bing maps development center i'll leave the link to the page in the description so over this page you need to click sign in and if you don't have a current microsoft account you could create a new account using the create one uh, link and then you could enter uh, the uh, email uh, and uh, continue to uh, enter create an account and uh, enter credentials like the password so once you create an account and signed in, you could go to my accounts and create my uh, click my keys. Sorry, and then uh, to create it, you need to create a new key. So click here to create a new key, and here you could enter the uh, application uh, name, and it could be anything. I'll just call it Bing Map Test. And you don't need it. This is optional for the application URL. If you have a link, you could enter it. And the key uh, type would be basic and application type would be mobile application I choose. And I'll click on create to create the new key. So now I have the new key and uh, later we'll come back soon to copy the key, but we'll have other things to do on the Unity side for now. So the next step would be setting the map package inside Unity. So in Unity editor, inside the projects, under the assets, packages, right click and show in Explorer and double click the package to open it and the manifest.json, double click on it to open it in your uh, editor or in my case it's Visual Studio. Once the file is open, highlight all the lines before dependency, in this case is this line, and paste in the following code. So paste in these lines, I'll just zoom to, so you can see them. Uh, so you just need to paste in these lines and once that is done, I uh, will save and go back to the Unity editor and you will notice Unity package manager will start uh, installing and you, you will see that these uh, the package manager uh, box uh, settings is on so that is done I'll just close it if you're using the universal renderer uh, pipeline or URP, uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, with the steps to follow in the link in case you need to set the uh, map SDK within the uh, universal render pipeline. Then go to window, uh, package manager, and then to select my registries and uh, select the map SDK and Microsoft select it and click install to install the package. After the installation is complete, you will notice that a new package called map SD, maps SDK and Microsoft garage project uh, folder would be uh, added to the packages. 
So next we will need to set the map renderer. In the hierarchy, right click to uh, create empty game object and let's call it um, map renderer. You could call it anything you like. And uh, after selected it in the inspector add component and select map renderer. So now we need to use the key that we generated earlier. So if we uh, log in uh, to uh, uh, Bing Maps Development Center account and go to my accounts, my keys, I have two keys in my case, but maybe in your case, if you created only one key, only one would be available. So you could just copy the key here and go back to uh, Unity Editor and under the Map Sessions Developer Key Source, select Scene and then paste your key here. Next, we could set the center of the map uh, by giving the latitude and longitude. So uh, I'll just select the uh, latitude and longitude of the Sydney Opera House and you could get that from uh, Google Maps. So um, in the latitude, I'll put the value minus 33 point, and in the longitude, it would be 151 points. <coughs> and in the zoom level, I'll select, um, you could play around with any satisfactory number, but I'll just have it as 17 in my case. And for the map layout, I'll change the dimension to the maximum, which in this case is permit three uh, as a maximum. And you could see that the map start uh, showing here. And that's, that's the center of it. And this is Sydney Opera uh, House. And now uh, we could uh, set next the camera. So uh, but you could just select the map renderer and hold press F on the keyboard and it will zoom to it. And then if you're interested in, in a top view, you could just press on the Y in the orbit and that would be top view. And if you wanted to uh, orthographic top view, you could press the top view again to see the change the orientation to orthographic. And you could zoom into uh, uh, to, to, to a, a level of zoom within the camera that you are comfortable with now in the orbit, in the scene. And once you're happy, you could set the camera uh, view to match that orbit by selecting the main camera and holding Control Shift and F on the keyboard. And you'll see now the camera is matching our view. Now we could set the camera a little bit. So, uh, uh, the uh, the rotation is 90 on the X that should be fine and uh, we could uh, toggle uh, or, or change between the projection between perspective and orthographic I think I will just have it as uh, orthographic for now and we'll put the size change it to something like 0 0.3 and the near to 0 and uh, I think that should do. So if we, uh, if I click on a play for testing, we could see that the camera is a, a beard. And I, if I change to full HD, it's more clearer here. And then uh, by changing the uh, rotation, maybe change it 25 and start playing with the Y, you will see, uh, uh, start seeing uh, the scene, uh, different uh, things in the scene. Maybe I'll change it to 40 on the X. And so we could move around and see different buildings in, in a 3D. And also, if we go to the map renderer component and we could play with different things, for example, we could change the uh, latitude slightly, so to make it 0.6, for example. And you see, as you change the latitude and longitude, the location will change, the center of the map will change, and the map would move with it. With it. And you could change the zoom in and out to have it uh, 
uh, to, 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 to change the scale or, or the zoom level of the map and uh, yeah that's uh, that's about it this is how we could uh, use or incorporate maps with a 3d world data in unity using the Bing maps sdk thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this